Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, today we're looking at something completely different. Not a normal truck or a, or a Jeep kind of vehicle, but a, a bus. A swivel bus as well. Let's start it up. Let's see how this thing works. Take the parking brake off. There we go. It seems to swivel pretty well. Oh, watch it. Actually, does it have any... Yeah. You can actually open the doors, that's pretty cool. Drive the door. Okay. Um... There we go. Yeah, I'm uh, checking out custom map as well at the same time. And I found a map that was pretty well suited for this bus. Oh well, I hope it is. It's called... Uh, whoa, I'm taking damage already. It's pretty low in the front, I guess. Uh, this map is called... Uh, village. So I guess every village needs a bus. There we go, with all wheel drive on and diff lock on, we can get up the hill. It looks pretty cool, this thing. And the swivel part actually seems to work very well as well, so that's nice. But I guess I'll have to take care of the front of the bus since it's so far over the front wheel since it's so low. It's even worse than uh, with the Kamas. That takes damage pretty... well, used to take damage pretty easy. And I guess this thing as well. But let's just take it nice and slow. Move type corner. There we go. Let's follow this path. Let's see if we can take one plus. Yeah. So put all ahead. Let's just drive through it. Oh, take it there. Let's roll. Watch it. I really need to be careful. Oh. Still have the button pressed. Well, it's doing that pretty okay, so that's nice. Hopefully, we can find uh, a garage as well, so we can check out uh, what kind of add-ons this might have for different wheels. Oh yeah, about this map, I didn't start with this vehicle. You start out with a uh, with D-type truck, the MAZ, and um, it only had 20 liters of fuel. So you have to be really careful to make it to the next vehicle or to the fuel station in time. But once you figure it out, it's not that hard. But it took me a couple of tries to get it done. Careful not to hit the front. Let's actually not go through this path since it makes the bus lower or the bumper at least. I have the feeling this map has a lot of custom mods or um, uh, models since it needs to load them every time you get close to them. Then the game seems to freeze a little bit it mows down these trees pretty easy okay it's an Icarus 250 there we go that's the first village I guess oh, watch for the damage Seems to be a bit of an abandoned village. This building is pretty damaged.
Ah, there we go, a garage. And some other vehicles. I mean, this one is unlockable, I guess. Whoa, look at that radar thing. Seems like an army truck. Ah, need to unlock this garage first. It's the best. Let's see. Should be a truck with garage points then, I guess. Let's try to uncloak this cloak. Pack it up. These buildings don't look that bad. Actual hangar. And you can service your truck. Well, that clock isn't that hard to reach either, I guess. A lot of custom uh, models. actually a river let's see if we uncloak this one if there's some sort of bridge here. to get to the other side there's a strange sounds when it's when it shifts up or down Ooh, taking damage again I guess this bus wasn't, won't be very good in the hardcore off-road map. Or you have to drive very slowly. Come on, come on. It's sliding on the back. There we go. Watch out for the building. Automatic gearing is the fastest, that's for sure. There's an actual tarmac right there. Oh, not too fast. Whoa, what's that? And there's another bus. I replaced this bus with uh, Kras C255. <laughs> and I guess the bus is a little bit too long for it to, for it to fit over there. <laughs> oh, watch out. That didn't go uh, very well. <laughs> Let's try to uh, cross the river over there with this uh, bus. Seems to be pretty deep. Well, maybe not. It's not that fast, the river. Slowly. Yeah, it's doing it.
Whoa, it's sliding around in the back. I guess that's fun if you have to go to school in a bus like this going through the river. <laughs> And if the river is too high, you don't have to go to the school. <laughs> oh, we can't get it up. It's kind of stuck. It's bottoming out, I guess. Or those wheels are in the air now. Let's uh, try going a little bit the side here. Don't go straight up. There we go. That's better. It's pretty fast actually. Once you get it in automatic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A lot of damage. And the front bumper are buried in the ground. There is the UAZ. Well, it gives a warning for that. Dangerous water level pretty soon, but I guess it seems right since the engine on the bus is most of the time in the middle, all the way on the bottom. Let's try to cross the river here. Since I don't think there's anything else on the end of this path, only an objective. Oh, there's another river crossing actually. Let's go there. Let's see if we can make it with all this damage we got so far. Uh, more models to load. Yeah, they, uh, if it wasn't so bad with the damage, then it would actually be pretty fun to see if, uh, if you can take this bus through the harder levels. But if you can get damage that easy, it's really annoying. Again, game freezes a little bit. Come on. I think it's because of the models that need to load. There's some sort of silo over there. Oh no, those are the flats. Or at least that's what I. We call them uh, in the Netherlands, I don't know what it is in English actually. <laughs> skyscraper. It's not that tall for a skyscraper. A high rise maybe. It's totally damaged. That's too bad. Well, you guys get the idea. Um, yeah, I'll put links uh, to this bus and the map in the description again. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.